Welcome back. Now, if you listen to the people around you carefully, I bet you would notice there's a lot of maybe some complaining going on. You might even catch yourself doing it. Have you ever wondered what it would be like if we went complaint free? Well, Councillor Kat Roby and Mayor Jonathan Rothschild are here to challenge us to do just that. You guys, thank you so much for coming in today. Sure. Thank you for having us. So Kat, what made you decide we need to kind of really think about complaining? For the past several years, I've been noticing any small talk that I might have, even in line at the grocery store with people I work with, like, oh, it's so hot. Oh, here comes Monday again. Oh, I'm so tired. And just really doesn't ever seem to be things that are working. What's going great in your life? You don't really hear those kinds of conversations. And I'm always trying to push the way that I'm growing. So I took on a challenge. I read a book called A Complaint Free World. That's where it came from. And it was a challenge to try to go through 21 days consecutively with no gossiping, complaining, or criticizing. And oh my goodness, it took me five months and 12 days because I kept starting over. Day one, day one, day one, because I had no idea how often I was complaining. And I'm really tuned into self-talk as yeah. a therapist, right? So I, I feel like that's an important piece here. So it takes a little bit of time, but the benefits are amazing. And even if you're doing, we were talking about the benefits, even if you're going back to day one and you're, you're 100 and some odd days into this 21 day challenge, there is something to gain. There's benefits to gain oh. among, amongst all the days. There's so much to gain. In fact, um, better outlook, better focus, people at work have better drive, more motivation, more excited with their day, they have more energy, they sleep better. I mean, you could go on and on with the, the types of benefits of just having a more positive view on, on life, on the world, especially these days, things are a little bit, yeah. uh, you know, upsetting. There's things going on in the world that people are truly upset about. And of course, we need to be able to give that airtime too. But what if we could find something, uh, some way to talk about it that wasn't just complaining? And complaining, by the way, is only complaining if you're not seeking a solution. If you're seeking a solution, you have to talk about difficult things. Right. But in the way of finding a solution. If you're just talking about it, talking about it, talking about it, that's complaining and that's bringing you down and bringing everybody down. Can I tell you that all the things that you said earlier that, oh, it's Monday or, oh, it's hot, everyone was like, oh, yeah, that's me. Right. <laughs> I say all of those things. And today is a very symbolic reason why we're talking about that. Why the, this Wednesday? Well, it was a really pretty cool thing. Within that book and this drive to have the world be a less complaining place, they included a proclamation that we could draw up. So I called Mayor Rothschild's office and asked if I could have this proclamation prepared and and have Tucson, you know, be behind this. So, and then yeah. here we are. So, Mayor, first off, before we get to this specific proclamation, sure. what does that mean when we do a proclamation? So, it really is just a statement on behalf of the city that we support uh, a day, a person, an event, and it really is a, trying to be a unifying event for the entire city, which mayors get to do which is wonderful and so you heard this and did you think this is this is perfect this deserves a proclamation well it, it caught my attention yeah. right away um, in my position uh, I hear lots of complaints yeah. every day and my job is to try to answer them as best I can uh, but I can tell you sometimes there are people who have gotten themselves into cycles where they're just complaining and we kind of have a saying in, in our office that says if you, you know, you're here and we're here and there's a line and if you just want to complain and that's all you want to do, that's fine, we'll listen. But if you'd like to help, come on across the line and work with us and work for solutions. And that's, that's really what we all need to be doing. So this really complaint free Wednesday really did catch my eye. Uh, and you know, I think, uh, I can be a lot better too. Yeah, <laughs> I think a lot of us probably don't realize that we could we could kind of shore up that in our own life. And you actually have the proclamation uh, in your hands. I and do. today being the day before uh, Thanksgiving, I think is very symbolic. Yeah, I, I mean, Thanksgiving, I think is one of the most meaningful holidays yeah. of the year. You're with family, uh, you're giving thanks. And so it really is a perfect day to say, you know what, let's not complain the day before Thanksgiving yeah. because it really follows up into the next day of giving thanks. Mm -hmm. So it was uh, my pleasure to uh, prepare this 
And it ends by saying, Now therefore I, Jonathan Rothschild, Mayor of the City of Tucson, do hereby proclaim the day before Thanksgiving, November 22nd, 2017, to be complaint-free Wednesday uh, and providing each person living in Tucson one day free from complaining to prepare for our National Day of Gratitude Thanksgiving. Oh, well, I want to thank both of you because this couldn't have been a thing if you didn't notice how much complaining <laughs> was going around and you didn't realize how this is a great way to get our entire community uh, together and on board. And I'm sure a lot of families will be happy about the no complaining <laughs> tomorrow when we all get together. So thank you both so much for coming in. Thank you, Mayor. Oh, thank you for Thanks having so us. much. Thank now, if you've actually been interested in professional advice, give Kat Roby a call. She's at 906-3392 or you can visit robycounseling.com.